Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in RimWorld. We are starting our second episode. If you haven't watched the first episode, go back and check it out. Today's goals in this episode is to continue building our base. We want to get these three bedrooms built and then hopefully figure out uh, what we're going to do for food. I'd like to expand the grow zone a little bit and also probably set up a, a better kitchen and a freezer. So let's hop right in. We do have a wounded person from a crashed uh, pod, so let's take a peek at them. So they're a quick sleeper and gourmet. So let's go ahead and rescue them. And we're going to set one of our sleeping spots as medical. And let's send paramedic to rescue that person. Click on paramedic here. And we're going to rescue them and there's a couple other little housekeeping things we need to do. Let's make sure we collect these last few survival meals that are laying out on the ground. There we go, there we go. And let's also go ahead and expand our grow zone for rice. We're just gonna make that just a little bit bigger there. And then let's also go ahead and mark out where we want the rest of our bedrooms to be while we're sitting around waiting. So I like to make my bedrooms five by five at least to start, and that gives us a good uh, area for a bed and a couple of pieces of furniture to make it a, a decent bedroom for our RimWorld survivors. So just to kind of review why we're letting this run in the first episode, we crash landed on the planet Nuke with our hero Toothbud, paramedic, and agent as his fellow survivors. We set up a little basic base in here, got some rice in the ground, and then we were attacked by that mad rat, and Agent shot it dead, and Toothbub bathed in its fine mist of blood. So that was the first episode. I know these first couple episodes are going to be a little boring, a little slow as we set everything up and start to develop our base, but once we get going, we'll have bigger raids from the pirates or from the angry nomadic or natives in the area so that will make it a little more exciting for everyone to watch let's get a dumping stockpile zone out here so we can haul our chunks and our dead bodies there we don't want that rat sitting here on the inside um something just blew up oh, a piece of spacecraft landed nearby so let's go ahead and turn that off very nice very nice indeed so paramedic and tooth are planting a little bit more rice for us so that's good Let's go ahead and turn on, make some simple meals here. And we can do that till we have 20. There we go. So they will cook meals for us. Van Yuzlela is healing up nicely. And when she leaves, we'll get a little bonus with the Empire to, to make sure we have a better relationship with them. If we were set up, we could have kept her as a prisoner, but we're not that well set up, so we're not ready to, to have any prisoners. We don't have any cells. We don't have enough medical or food really to keep them around long enough. All right, so we have our first raid from the Axe Army. Okay, so they sound like they're here to do some business and we got Blackout, a barkeep. So let's go ahead and get Agent and Toothbud. So there's Toothbud and let's grab Agent here as well. And we're gonna go intercept barkeep, or excuse me, Blackout the barkeep before he can get anywhere near our base. So let's have them come around this way and they should start shooting at him. There we go. All right, Blackout, what are you going to do, my friend? Looks like he's got a mace. Let's see here. Yeah, he's got a steel club and a, okay, we already downed him and looks like mostly agent landing a lot of those shots. So we, like I said, we don't have anything for keeping him prisoner. So we will have to let him bleed out in the rain. Not the best way to go, but that is the way he is going to go, sadly. So he will bleed out down there, and they will collect the stuff he dropped. Paramedic is still chipping away. So once we get this built, we'll be able to build three nice little bedrooms for our people here. Food. We're doing okay on food. Ooh, a psychic smooth. That'll help. Uh, we got, what, 10 plus 3, so 13 meals there, plus tooth bud is getting us some blueberries as we speak, so that will help us as well. Let's see, Agent's cooking some meals for us. 
So I did like, and they added this some time back, and I forgot exactly when they did it, but this bill where you can do multiple, so kick, cook four, it used to be you just could cook one. Now they can do four meals at once, which is a lot more efficient. It was a pain in the butt. You know, on the bigger colonies, you'd have to have multiple cooks going at multiple cooking stations to keep up with the food demand sometimes. We do need to start thinking about the fence as we progress here. Uh, you know, right now the attacks are only going to start with one or two people, and we should be able to intercept them before they get anywhere near the base. But eventually we'll want to start, <clears throat> excuse me, thinking about building sandbags or blockades or some traps to help protect the base. Yeah, I know we're low on food. We got three days worth of food. But as we gather up these berries, we will be able to make some meals. We should also go ahead and put down a butcher's spot right here. Um, I know we said we weren't going to butcher that rat, but we're going to need the food. So we'll go ahead and set that forever and we can make sure we're butchering the animals as they die and cooking them up in our nice little meals. So we got about 75 blueberries now, or berries, I think just in general, we could eat the berries raw, but you do get a debuff from that for eating the raw food, but that is better than starving to death. So you just got to kind of balance that as you go. Eventually we might put a door somewhere down here maybe and have a hallway that runs through like that. So we can have a good east west hallway to transverse this mountain, but we'll see. We might also just want to leave that like that and just have it come out over here. Cause like I said, my original plan is probably to barricade here and here and here and here and have this nice little square. Uh, and put most of our growing in that in here. Or maybe, you know, we probably will expand slowly just to keep a nice little protected area for our survivors. All right, so they almost got that bedroom mined out. So they will keep doing that for us. Two more bricks, three more bricks. All right, let's also go ahead and set this all to be smoothed. So that all can be smoothed like that. This all can be smooth. Let me smooth that, that. Uh oh, we had another transport pod crash. So let's go take a peek here. All right, well, let's set another bed to medical. Medical, and we'll have to build two more sleeping spots. So let's go furniture and sleeping spots. One there and one there for now. And Tooth, you're going to come down here and rescue. Croto. All right, rescue Croto. So we're just building our relationships with our neighbors by doing these rescues. It is using up some of our food and medicine resources. So that we ought to keep an eye on. This bedroom is about done. So let's go ahead and have these marked to be hauled out of the way. And then we will go ahead and put down our first bed here. So we'll put a bed right there. And then we'll also put a wooden door in here to give them a little bit of privacy. I thought I saw, yep, there's some tables over here. So we'll steal these tables. So let's go ahead and claim and we can reinstall that table right there. Uh oh, Croto has died. How did he die? Looks like he died from blood loss. All right, well, we tried to save him. So let's go ahead and build a grave and that is under miscellaneous. And we're just gonna throw the grave right there out of the way so they can uh, get that body out of here in a few seconds. I'm surprised they put in there. That wasn't marked as medical, but that's okay. I do not want that bed there. Let's go ahead and cancel that. And then we'll go furniture and put a new wooden bed in right there. Perfect. Shoved in the corner, just like college. I remember reading something somewhere that you can tell you're uh, in what stage of life based on where your bed is in the room. The more walls it touches, the younger you are in life generally. All right, so we got his grave dug and they will go bury him. There used to not be a debuff on clothing you got from dead bodies, uh, but since they added that, it's a little uh, less beneficial to, to loot the clothing they have. So looks like we got a bed in here. Let's go ahead and give it the paramedic so he can sleep right there. And Toothbud, you can come out here and sleep there on the floor until we get these other bedrooms set up all right let's go ahead and haul those three bricks out of there agent is just smoothing away so let's go ahead and mark the rest of the stuff to be smoothed so that wall can be smoothed and that can be smoothed i don't know i didn't mark those to start with it's okay they're marked now 
Tooth is doing some sweeping and keeping everything nice and clean. You like to see it? Yeah, let's get that blood out of there too. Perfect. How are we doing with our other crashy? So yeah, you're sleeping on the ground, but health-wise you're healing up. No blood loss. Got some decent gear we could take, but we're not going to do that. That'd be pretty mean of us. Our food supply seems to be doing... We've got six meals and some berries. Another spacecraft chunk just crash landed. Let's go ahead and mark up some more berries to be harvested. We got some berries here. A couple here. What do we got over here? A couple there we can harvest. A couple there. A bunch down here. All right, so that should be some berries to, to satisfy us for a little bit. Bulk goods trader, so we might do some trading as they approach. And the quest, the Ambush Baroness. Ooh, I'm not even going to pronounce that name. A Baroness from the Empire Epis is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped, but the, now is being followed by a man-hunting snow hare. Oh my god, it's probably the rabbit from Monty Python. She wants you to keep her safe at Scrubland for a few hours until her shuttle comes and picks her up. She will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal title of yeoman and the benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. All right, so Toothbud, our hero, is going to accept that, and she is going to come and join our colony. And the rabbit, where is it at? The man-hunting rabbit is going to... Close in on our location. Oh, Tooth, you are in potential danger. Let's have him get out of there. That rabbit is flying at him. It's a rabbit from Monty Python. Let's get him out of there. That rabbit's closing in. All right, he's going to get bit. All right, good. So the traders have noticed, and they're going to come and help him out. All right, let's get out of there. How's he doing health-wise? Oh, just a snow hair bite. Okay. And they killed the rabbit. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for the help. And we will unblock that. So that can be butchered here soon. All right, so Tooth is going to get healed up, and he should be perfectly fine. Yep, that's all bandaged up. And there's the shuttle for the Baroness. So we'll set it to autoload and get them out of there. Fantastic. So Toothbud is now considered a yeoman. Now, we don't have the... Um, the throne room requirement set up yet because we're still a little bit early so hopefully we can get that fixed here soon but that is good he's got a little bit of renown so uh you know we're moving up in the world and we've only been crash landed here for i think nine days so that's good he's gonna come or excuse me yeah we're gonna get some more berries very good very good all right, Tooth is carrying some more berries in for us as well. Food does not seem to be as much of an issue. We got plenty of berries, some meals, plus some survival meals left over as well. And we're uh, looking in pretty good shape now. Got another bedroom about halfway done, halfway dug out. So we'll get that set up and these two guys out of there. Hopefully this person should be about healed. 39 out of 40, 40 out of 40. Okay, so they should leave here. There they go. And that uh, is nice. So a gift from the North Tribe. They left us a little bit of uranium. How nice of them. All right, so we will use that in some sort of crafting eventually. Let's also go ahead and build a animal box for Tennessee the cat. Uh, and we'll go ahead and make it out of wood. So we'll put that there. And then let's put a potted plant there as well. And then we're going to build a couple of dining chairs next to this table. Just to kind of help fill out the bedroom a little bit. Make it look nice for paramedic. Eventually when we get a power source, we'll get some lights in here. Other than the campfire. So that'll make the uh, in darkness debuff go away. Uh, yeah, the darkness debuff there. All right, so our little colony is doing well, all things considered. No major setbacks yet, but that is coming for us eventually. It's not ever too far away where you could be attacked or raided or have a massive blight or crop failure. 
and all of a sudden you go from looking pretty good to saying, oh crap, we're all going to die. All right, agent is smoothing those floors. Let's go ahead and turn Tooth back on for construction, just to help for a little bit. We need to get some of this busy work done here. Yep, he's going to build those chairs. The agent's going to keep smoothing the floors. Paramedic's about got this room carved out, so we'll make sure we set those to haul. Alrighty. I know these first episodes are a little bit slow, especially in RimWorld where we got to set up our base and get ready for those big attacks, which everyone wants to see. Those are obviously the best part of the game, but those are coming, so hang in there, guys, with me. Keep watching these videos. Make sure you like it, comment if you want to see me do any different mods, or, you know, obviously if you want me to play a different game, certainly let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you make sure you're getting this great, great, great content on time and in an orderly fashion. You know, getting all this support from everyone is why I keep going and making these videos. One, for my own edification and entertainment, and two, obviously, for your guys' entertainment. So it's a win-win for everyone. So everyone's having a nice little nap now. And you can see Tennessee was using his box. I don't think uh, he has any needs. Oh, he's got needs. Just food and rest, but I don't think he cares where he sleeps. But that's okay. Uh, something just got attacked. Is it the panther attacking things? I'm not sure. We could hunt some of the monkeys if we wanted. But they will fight back, and I'd prefer not to have any wounds or anything like that. We can hunt. Let's go ahead and hunt that rat. Let's see. Is anyone assigned to hunting? Agent is assigned to hunting, so maybe he'll come out and hunt. There he goes. Yep, he's going to hunt that rat, and he's going to go ahead and butcher it. So we get a little bit of meat from that rat, so that'll be nice. Can use that in some of our meals. I think we're out of wood, and that's probably why they haven't finished that pot. So let's go ahead and... Mark a couple more trees to be chopped down. There we go. We'll mark a couple over here as well. All right, Paramedic has got this room nice and carved out. So let's also go ahead and build the bed. There we go. And the door for this room. And then we'll have them grab the table. There it is. Let's say there's another table over here. And reinstall it right there. And then we'll also build another potted plant. So furniture, and where's that? There we go, wooden pot and plant. Put that right there. Great. Let's see, harvesting a little of rice. All right, colony is still coming along nicely. It is a kind of warm out, 84 degrees out. And we're in the spring, so it's only going to get hotter in the, the summer here soon. Okay, let's just zoom out and kind of appreciate everything for a second here. You know, some of my favorite parts of this game is when it gets uh, really, really crazy. I, a couple of the games, especially on maps like this with a lot of trees, if you get a dry thunderstorm and a lightning strike sets forest fire, you know, the entire map could burn. It, it changes the dynamics of the map very quickly. Um, not only do you have to survive that massive forest fire, but then all of a sudden, you know, all your crops could be burned or all the trees on the map could be burned down. All the animals could go away, which means you're not hunting. Um, and it takes time. It takes a couple of years for some of the trees to grow back, some of the animals to return. Uh, could also get like a nuclear fallout or nuclear winter where again, everything gets killed on the map and you have to stay inside and you just got to make sure you're balancing going outside so you're not getting the the poison or the sickness from being out there and it certainly makes for a very fun game indeed kind of excited to see what the next dlc for rim world or major update will be i don't know where else you i mean i know where, where else you could take this game but you know what do you do next that's the question what do you do next to, to keep people involved and obviously looking at youtube i haven't seen any waning of people playing the game on the videos seeing as I just started the series so obviously it's still somewhat popular so we got this bedroom about done got everything almost polished 
Got most of the furniture in there. They haven't finished the... I'm just going to go ahead and have tooth. Um, take tooth off construction for a little bit so he can go harvest some wood so we can finish that potted plant. Looks like we got plenty of rice coming in, so that's good. Yeah, we need wood for our campfire as well here. So far, it's been pretty quiet this episode. That means something's coming our way. What that will be, I don't know. Could be some spiders or mega spiders. Those are always fun to deal with. Could be a Madden monkey or maybe a that nuclear fallout I was talking about earlier. Paramedics got that room just chipping away and making it a little bit bigger. It's what we like to see. We almost got all three bedrooms set up. Everyone laying down for a nice little nap. All right, and now it's daybreak and everyone's getting back to work. Hopefully you can finish this room up today. That'd be nice. Agent needs to wake his buck butt up. It's already 8 in the morning. What's he doing? 9 in the morning. All right, campfire back up and running. And he's going to cook a couple more meals for us. I think I set the bill at is it 20. Yeah, he can make up to 20 meals. So we're starting to run a little bit low on food. We got, what, six meals left? Yeah, there we go. Let's get that up to a few more meals. Paramedics got that room coming along nice. We almost halfway, not quite halfway yet. Things are being smoothed. Tooth is hauling all those chunks out of there. Very nice. We can go ahead and mark these three to be hauled as well. Make sure this room has plenty of room to navigate in. So what are we going to have? Seven, four, eight. So that's going to be 15 meals there. So that's good. Got a couple days worth of food. Oh, it is 100 degrees out with fog. That does not sound like fun. All right, we probably need to get some more trees chopped. Get a little bit more wood so we can finish that bed here. All right, Tooth is going to do that. They're going to keep smoothing those walls. Paramedic has made a sizable dent on that. Let's go ahead and mark this to be smoothed. Mark that and that. And then we can also go ahead and mark this row. Those can be smoothed. All right, there we go. Still a lot of work to go, but we are just chipping away little bit by little bit. It's really fun when you can get multiple colonies too, or multiple uh, places. And you know, like you might have one that specializes in growing food and you can set up the, uh, the shuttles and the, um, the drop pods to just shuttle supplies between your locations. So, you know, your main base might not have a lot of room to grow food. So you're shipping food from the, the farm, if you will. And then maybe the the main base is sending back defense supplies and other things like medicine to the to the people living there. All right, so we got another bed, and that's going to be Agent's bed, so we'll reassign that to him. And we can go ahead and deconstruct these sleeping spots. So now Paramedic and Agent both have their own nice little private bedrooms. So that will remove some of the depuffs of sleeping in a barracks and being woken up at night by other people now that they have their own private rooms. They will be a little bit ugly. Um, paramedics is looking decent, but agents is negative 0.8, why his is 1.9. But once we get these smoothed and everything, it looks a lot better. All right, we need to expand our dumping stockpile just a little bit. There we go. Be able to move those chunks out of there and just five more. So that is good. Tooth, we're going to put you back on construction, bud. Help get some of this stuff done. Three more chunks and this bedroom will be about ready. But then lots and lots of smoothing. Now is Paramedic able to construct? He is, uh, we'll be able to turn him on construction once he finishes this. So let's go ahead and mark our door so we can put that door in. 
Perfect. And we'll need to chop some more trees down though. Harvest wood. There we go. Last spot. Almost done. There we go. So all of the bedrooms are carved out. Let's go ahead and put the last bed in right there in the corner. So between tooth and paramedic and agent, we will go ahead and finish the smoothing and building the last of the beds. So that's pretty good progress on our little base here. I like it. It's coming along nicely. I'm looking for floors. There we go. And smooth all that. Smooth that. Okay. This is looking good. Tooth, I don't know why. Oh, because they haven't finished building the bed yet. So we'll get that bed in, and then everyone will have their own little bedroom. So let's go ahead and click on paramedic, and we'll show his needs. So he's still got an unsightly environment. But once we get these smoothed out, that'll help. Sleeping in the heat we need to work on. Um, and disturbed sleep won't be as bad now that everything, uh, everyone has their own private bedrooms. So we have a trader coming in, so we'll see what the trader has to offer. Where are they at? Let's go ahead and grab Tooth here and go ahead and trade with them. All right, what do they got? We could buy some wargs or a timber wolf if we wanted. Some food. I'm not really seeing anything I want to buy off them. So thanks, but no thanks, my friend. We'll just keep working away and getting everything set up here. Uh, how we got? We got two meals left. All right, so we also need to go ahead and mark some more berries to be harvested. So we'll get those berries there. A couple berries here. Quite a few berries for us to mark. Good. Anything up here? One there. A couple here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to work, and we're going to take, we're going to put, or no, we can just go ahead and have paramedic do all that. We'll have Tooth keep being our constructor and smoothing and everything. All right, paramedic, I want you to go harvest. So hopefully once he finishes this smoothing, he'll go harvest some berries for us. There he goes. Yep, harvesting rice plant. Good, good indeed. Now let's make sure we have our home zone marked the way we want it. All right, so that's all marked. We'll just square that out there. Square that out there. That's marked. Let's go ahead and mark all that. Perfect, all right. And we can turn, well, we'll leave the grave marked for now. But we can clear it over here. There we go. All right. So I think this is a good place to end the episode. We got a lot done. We saved the Baroness. We got our three bedrooms carved out. And we still need to do a little bit of smoothing. But uh, we're in pretty good shape. Food's doing okay. So I think in our next episode, so we'll finish our kitchen and uh, get a freezer going, and which means we'll also need to get some power as well. I don't think we have enough to make her some chocolate. Uh, once you take, uh, we're not going to take care of that raccoon. Sorry. Ooh, a double granite bed masterwork. Yeah, we are going to accept it for the masterwork bed. All right, so we just got to take care of chocolate, and we'll that'll be our uh, next mission or next video. So thank you so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Really appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, comment either if you want me to play with different mods, start another colony. Um, that's how I get good information from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs Gaming channel so you get that great content I'm making on time in an orderly fashion. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next time when we take care of Chocolate the Raccoon.